Holy cow, it feels good to be back in the garage working on another truck project. But before we dive too deep into what we're looking at today in today's video, let me give you a quick update on the rear window issue that I was having. So if you follow my channel and you've seen my last video I posted, uh, the day after, so New Year's Day, I was cleaning out the inside of my truck and I noticed that I was getting moisture inside the cab, looked a little bit closer and found out that my rear window has succumbed to what has now become the famous Ram rear window crack. So the rear window frame cracked right about here and what happens is water will drip down from either the third brake light or from the roof and it'll get into the cab ultimately uh, drenching anything in its way. So brought the truck into Ram that following Friday, uh, so last Friday, and called them yesterday for a quick update. I didn't hear back from them so hoping to hear back in the next day or so as far as next steps with getting this guy replaced. I have a handful of other things that I had them taking a look at but really my, my main focus right now is making sure that they give me a solution for this rear window which ultimately means it's going to get replaced. I have been reluctant to get my truck clean because of that crack and I don't want water going in there and I don't want water going in there, it freezing and then running into a bunch of other issues. So the truck is really dirty right now, which actually lends itself really well to this video here. So let's take a look at today's product. So like I said, truck is really dirty, but it highlights an issue that I'm going to hopefully resolve with this product. So I was talking with the Laminex folks a couple weeks ago and they said they got a new product out and they wanted to, uh, Wanted me to take a look at it. So what is the new product? The new product is clear paint protection film. So just like I did with the bug guard. So it's that clear film that went on the front of the hood. Um, but this is custom cut to go over your gas tank. And why do I think this is a good idea? This is why I think it's a good idea. So my car is covered in salt right now and we don't have the automatic button. So when we want to open our gas door, we hit this, open it up, close it. And if you give any sort of care in the world, about your paint, you realize that every time you go to open that, you're pushing on the paint and you're basically scratching, uh, you're basically pushing that road salt or whatever dirt or whatnot into the paint and probably gonna over time scratch the heck out of this. So their solution is custom cut clear film overlays that will cover up the entire fuel tank door. So just like the front bug guard, as well as those uh, LED fog light covers that I installed. It's that typical Laminex film. This one's going to be clear and it's going to basically mount over the top of the fuel tank door and that is it. Pretty simple. It's an awesome idea um, and like I said when you're trying to open this you're pushing on the paint and you're basically scratching it every time you do it. So you know what if you can do something to, to prevent scratches why wouldn't you? Enter the Laminex film. So what comes in the kit? So I have two fuel door here. Fuel door overlays here. Uh, one for my truck and one for my dad's 2020 Limited. We're going to be installing both of them. I'll be doing mine tonight and probably his this weekend. He's got a black truck so you're definitely going to see the scratches a heck of a lot more on his truck. Uh, so this is really the test run. So when I ultimately mount this on his truck um, I am a pro at that point because if you remember I ended up rage quitting when I was doing the bug guard on the front of the truck. Um, Paint protection film is a very acquired skill and it takes a lot of practice to get good at it. Luckily, this is a small area. It's flat, there's no curves. I think we should be pretty good on this one, um, but time will tell. So what comes in the kit? Obviously you get the film and then you get a squeegee. You get a little Laminex knife just in case you need to do some trimming and I don't think I do. I confirmed some of the measurements and for the most part, this appears to be a direct fit for the gas door. But if we do, we have a nice razor blade, nice clean razor blade to cut that. You obviously get instructions which also talk through how to make your own application fluid. They give you a bottle that you can mix your application fluid in. It's basically just a couple drops of dish soap, some water, and that will give you the ability to wet apply the, the vinyl. So basically spray the heck out of everything, put your film on top of it, and you can slide it around in place. Once you get it in place, you then take your squeegee and squeegee everything out. But if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I'm a creature of habit. So I bought another bottle of Rap Attack and we're gonna use this guy to mount our film on the gas door. So uh, a couple other things you're gonna need outside of the kit is some isopropyl alcohol. This is just an added step that I always do every time I'm adding some sort of overlay, especially an overlay on a white truck because you're gonna see everything that gets caught underneath it. Um, white doesn't hide dust well when it's on there. So you wanna make sure you, that you wipe everything down after you clean it wipe everything down with the isopropyl just to give you a 100% clean surface. And then a couple microfibers to help out with cleaning duty. And then at the end, 
when it comes time to move all that fluid out of here I'm also gonna use a heat gun just to keep everything malleable and get, keep some of that fluid moving so when I install the film on the fuel tank door I'll be able to squeegee things and then the heat will basically help things cure a little bit faster so the first thing I'm gonna do here is go ahead and clean up the side of my truck so like I said the closest car wash is closed right now, but I've been pretty reluctant to take my truck through a car wash until the rear window gets fixed because I don't want to have any issues with my amp or anything like that getting wet. So I'm going to go ahead and do kind of a quick hand wash here in the garage and then wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol, get the film ready to go, and we'll get it installed on here. So let me go ahead and clean everything. All right, so I went ahead and cleaned off the general area. Make sure you clean, give yourself a buffer area around it. So clean off everything because just in case, that film happens to slide down or whatnot, it's not gonna grab up dirt below everything. So the next thing I'm gonna do then is take the bottle of isopropyl alcohol and clean off everything. Like I said, that is an added measure, but what it does is it really does give you a really good, nice, clean surface uh, to mount everything to. So I'm using some paper towel with some isopropyl on it, wipe everything down, let it dry, and then one more wipe over with a quick uh, uh, tack cloth just to make sure all the lint is off and then we are good to go to install. Now the other thing is Rapid Tech can actually be used as a cleaner, so it's a cleaner and application fluid. So it's probably got a little bit of alcohol, which is why it evaporates, but you could also use this as one more added step there. I'm cheap and I hate having to buy this stuff, so I'm not gonna use it as a cleaner. I have a whole bunch of other cleaners I could use. So I'll just use this as the uh, application fluid. So let me go ahead, get everything wiped down with isopropyl, and we'll start with uh, installing that film. All right, a trick when you're wiping stuff down with isopropyl, I always use a paper towel and I get a new one every time I'm wiping it down a new surface. That way I know if the surface is clean. So I got a bunch of ISO on here. I'm gonna wipe it down. And the way you double check if you're getting any dirt on there is you just check the paper towel. So if I did have dirt, obviously it would look like that. But now everything is clean and good to go. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes to completely evaporate off of there. Then we are good to go to hit it with the wrap attack and then get our film ready to go. And just out of curiosity, there are tons of geese flying by right now. So I live by a bunch of wildlife refuges and the geese, for whatever reason, just all got off of all the ponds right now. Crazy. This is a small flock compared to what just flew over. Anyway, let's get back to the installation. All right, so while everything is drying there, so the isopropyl is gonna be drying off here, I just wanted to take double, I wanted to double check the measurements on this guy just to make sure it's an exact fit. And I'm almost positive that it is. So it is roughly eight and a half inches wide by six and a, six and a half inches high. And if you measure the fuel door, let's see here. So it's just over six and a half and width wise, uh, hard to do this in one hand. It's just over eight and a half. So that film is gonna cover this nicely. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our wrap attack. We're gonna get this guy ready to go. And um, we're gonna go crazy with it. So what I learned with the front of the hood when I was doing that clear bud guard is you gotta get, you gotta use a lot of this stuff. Um, mostly because you don't want it to dry while you're moving everything around, especially with the, gray, uh, the clear film. You wanna make sure this stuff gets right in spot. In order to do that, you need to make sure that you have a ton of this stuff on there so you have a nice layer to move everything around in. So one last thing that I forgot to mention before I do this is I'm gonna go clean my hands really good too. Um, with the clear film, fingerprints will show up on here if you're not careful. So I'm just gonna clean my hands really, 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 really good and then we'll get to installing this guy. All right, so now we are ready to install. So once you have the film ready to go, just make sure it's oriented and actually with the white truck, you could see that the lines match up perfect. So I don't think I'm gonna need to do too much trimming, if any. Uh, looks like it fits perfectly on there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit this whole area with just an absolute ton of wrap attack. You can kind of go a little bit overboard since you're gonna be squeegeeing it out anyway. Um, but again, this gives you the ability to slide this film around to get it right into place because this fits perfectly, which means you need to slide it in the spot. You're not gonna be able to land this thing dry. Uh, so having that fluid is gonna be nice and helpful. So we're good to go. So I'll hit that up. And again, this is where it uh, help, it's helpful to make sure that you clean up above because if this stuff starts dripping like it is, it's gonna bring dirt with it up here. So that's why I cleaned up above there. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this guy off of here 
And once we get it started, I'm gonna start slowly hitting it with some rap attack. Just to keep things nice and All right, so now that we got this guy fully drenched, be nice and careful. And I think I'm gonna start at the top here and just line that guy up. Just, I'm gonna hold on to that side. God, you kind of get blinded by the white. All right. That thing was landed perfectly. So now that it's on there with the rap attack behind it, the next thing we need to do is make sure we get some of that rap attack out so it stays where it's at. Because honestly, it is perfectly mounted right now and I'm good to go with where it's at. So the best thing I've learned to do is just kind of hold from the center and start really carefully going from the center out. And uh, this is where it's helpful to have that application fluid because after you get a little bit going, it does hold it in in the spot very well. So once you get that first layer of it out and get some of this stuff to start to stick, uh, then you can get a little bit more aggressive with wiping the fluid out of there. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep squeegeeing this guy out. And then once I get most of that fluid out, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of heat. I don't wanna hit it with a lot because what I don't wanna do is make this thing so warm that it starts to stretch because it's perfectly lined up with each side here and I don't want to squeegee it and then start to pull the film and stretch it out because I don't need to stretch it out at all. So I'm gonna get as much fluid as I can get out with this guy. Uh, then I'll take a microfiber, also start to wipe some of this down. And then ultimately at the end here, we'll hit it with some heat just to make sure that everything's dried out of there and the adhesive on the film itself is activated enough to start to stick. So like I said, let me go ahead and get the rest of this fluid out here. I sprayed a ton on there, so it's gonna take me a little bit and then uh, We'll come back and hit it with some heat and finish it up. All right, so I got a ton more of that fluid out of there. So the other thing I've learned when doing all these films is it's nice to have a microfiber to help with the squeegeeing because sometimes the squeegee is too hard and doesn't push everything out. Whereas with the microfiber, you can kind of mold it to the film and push out. And you can be a little bit more aggressive with it without risk of scratching a film. So like I said, every time you're squeegeeing that film out, make sure you go from the center out. Um, because you just want to make sure that film's going where you or that fluid is going where you want it. You don't want to go from this side all the way up because then you're trying to travel a longer distance. Middle, out, and then you're good. This is the case with all film. So it looks like we're in pretty good shape. I'm gonna hit it with some slight heat, not a crazy amount, because I really don't think I need it too much, but I do, since it's freezing outside, um, I want to make sure I get as much of the film out as possible or much of that fluid out as possible. I don't want ice crystals forming underneath here. However, that said. I have, the way I stumbled across Rap Attack is I saw them actually using it in a installation video where they're installing a sticker on a window outside in like 12 degree weather. So this stuff does have alcohol in it, so it's not going to freeze, but just out of abundance of caution, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of heat just to make sure everything's sealed and it kind of gives me peace of mind. So let me get the heater uh, set up here and then we will warm this guy up, wipe everything down, and then that is it. So let's do it. All right. We're gonna hit it with just a tad of heat. Oh, it warms my hands. So just a little bit. If you get too crazy with this, that film's gonna start to wrinkle up, but also what this allows you to do is see where those bubbles are at because if you have air pockets or water pockets or fluid pockets, they're gonna wrinkle up a little bit and it'll be easier to see it. Like I said earlier, with this white, I was kind of getting blinded by the white in the film and I wasn't able to see things completely. But the heat does help it because it does, it'll wrinkle up those little spots and you can just use your microfiber just to flatten everything down and then everything stays down nicely. So see, you can see right there. So just take that water and get that out of there. And that's exactly why you hit it with heat because it'll show you where those spots are at. Just a little bit down here. And we are about done. So that is it. That's how you install the fuel tank overlay or the paint protection film for the fuel door. Um, like I said, this is a new product from Laminex. They don't have it on their website just yet for our trucks. I haven't checked other models, but the second they do release it, which I anticipate they will because this is an absolute no-brainer when it comes to paint protection, I will throw a link down in the description below. But also, don't forget, with anything through Laminex, I have a link, and it's a referral link 
if you go through my link, you'll get 20% off on anything at the Laminex store. So even if you're not purchasing this guy and you want to go with like, let's say amber overlays for your, your LED pods, or if you want to go with the whole paint protection kit or the bumper protection kit, use my link and you'll get 20% off. So that's a pretty good chunk of change. It's a decent savings. Um, and it's something, you know, yeah, like I said, the second they post this up on their website, I will update the description below and I will add a link directly to this, but this is an awesome product. Um, and like I said, it's a no brainer. I imagine it's going to be a relatively cheap investment, but it definitely protects your paint. Um, I know there's a whole culture of truck guys who just don't care about the paint and that's fine. Uh, you know, a lot of these trucks are used for work, but I care. Um, I'm hoping to have this truck for the long haul. So I'm going to do what I can to keep the paint looking as pristine as I can. Um, and if that means installing my own paint protection film, by all means, that's it. And it's super simple. So it's definitely worth the time. Uh, it took me to do this, which was all about five minutes with that said, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I got a couple more videos and I'm glad to be back in the garage and I will keep everyone up to date as far as a rear window, but definitely check out my Instagram. Been sharing a couple of pictures there of other things going on and also some pictures of the kitchen that we're renovating. That's stealing most of my time as well. But with that said, like I said, thank you very much. Appreciate it and check you in the next video.